its nonprofit, CERB, had five catalytic converters stolen from their transportation vehicles this week. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell was able to speak with the organization today and has more details. Layla, Fulton police say this is an ongoing investigation it's taking very seriously. And Chief Ladwig told me they're not sure if it was a person or persons that stole the catalytic converters, but they ask anyone in the community with information to come forward. It's not just a matter of we have to come up with money to fix these. This means that people won't get to their jobs on time. Carol Lewis, transportation leave at Serve Inc., walked me through when she received the disheartening call early Monday morning that out of their nine buses, five had their catalytic converters stolen. And although it's only Tuesday, it's already had an effect on them and the community they serve. For a lot of these people, we are their only mode of transportation. Where we prided ourselves on being able to help anybody, um, we can't do that right now. Serve provides many services to the disabled community, and because of the thefts, it has had to cancel several rides this week. Our disabled uh, community is is polarized by this. Catalytic converter theft is an ongoing issue for Callaway County and throughout the state. Unfortunately, it's happening everywhere. Converters are often made of the metal palladium, which some say is more valuable than gold. Converters are worth anywhere from a few hundred dollars up into the thousand to two thousand dollar range. It's a lucrative, quick hit for somebody that uh, needs money. Lewis said as more catalytic converter shops have opened up in Callaway County, the thefts have increased. I plead with with the business owners of, of these facilities. They're these people are bringing our property to your businesses. CERB is unsure if insurance will cover the costs. We could end up having to pay a deductible per vehicle. Which could cost them thousands of dollars. Reporting in Fulton, Layla Mitchell, ABC 17 News. State lawmakers pre-filed a bill about this. House Bill 1456 would make it so transactions of catalytic converters would require a vehicle identification number for the vehicle that converter came from.